Hey there Lickin' Riffers and welcome back to yet another awesome rhythm guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff and in this video we're gonna talk about dynamics, okay, proper dynamics. So we're gonna take a couple of uh, relatively simple chord progressions and I'm gonna show you how you can easily inject dynamics into your playing and unborify it, okay? Most of us, when we just start out, we play rhythm guitar um, in a pretty boring manner. Everything is at the same level. And some of us get stuck there. And there are really good guitar players who just can't play rhythm. And it's really surprising uh, that even some amazing, uh, you know, world-class um, electric guitar players who can shred and rip the guitar apart with their insane solos, can't play proper rhythm, they don't have dynamics, and suddenly when they play an acoustic guitar, it's boring. And it's all about dynamics, okay? And dynamics mean basically that you, um, that you play the part of the, um, of, of the drummer, basically. Because um, dynamics kind of create a beat by using volume. Okay, that's my philosophy on dynamics. Dynamics, when played, uh, when applied correctly to a rhythm guitar, um, it might sound stupid, but it kind of employs the same idea as a drummer would, because uh, a drummer always plays with the volume of the hits, um, and not just with the timing of the hits, okay? The volume of the hits is just as important as the timing. And that's what many guitar players miss, that uh, if you play this, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be the whole set of strings the whole time. You don't have to play all the notes all the time. That's what dynamics in, uh, in, in rhythm guitar mean. You can play it like this. Okay? Now, um, sometimes I'm playing the bass strings, sometimes I'm playing the high strings. I'm playing a sort of a rhythmic lick there um, sometimes. I play. Okay? Sometimes I play, uh, I, um, I just inject a, a rhythmic lick, uh, even on the bass notes. Okay? Um, I, I vibrate the bass notes sometimes. So you can also vibrate the whole chord if you want. Um, that's what dynamics is about. So I'm just using the full G chord, the C add 9 chord, and the D sus 4 chord. You know this from uh, Take It Easy, the Eagles song, you know it from Time of Real Life, um, the Green Day song. It's a fairly a common uh, chord progression. So the full G chord, it's a G chord with three and three on both the first and second strings. Then the same thing, you just take the head of the chord to C, so you get C at nine, and you take the head of the chord down again, physically, up, musically, and you take the finger off of the D string, you get D sus four. Okay, it's three, three, two on strings one, two, and three with the open D string. So um, I'm playing a fairly normal rhythm pattern. Nothing fancy. One, two, and, and four, and one. Two, and, and four, and one. Okay, down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and, and four, and. But I am playing around as a question and answer thing between the bass and treble notes, okay? You start from this. This is the simplest expression of this idea, okay? Bass, bass, chord, okay? The low three strings, the high three strings, okay? And then it's the same thing, okay? You can do the high strings, okay? Just the high strings, or you can do high, low, high, okay? Up, down, up. Okay, then you get bass, bass, chord, chord, bass, chord, instead of the whole thing all the time. 
okay? Or you can try, um, okay? You can try to uh, reverse it, but that's more of a technical exercise than anything else. Uh, you can do up on the bass strings, down on the high strings, up on the bass strings. That's, yeah. Someone's showing off their motorcycling skills out there. Okay, so, okay, that's really interesting. You don't hear that kind of expression a lot, but it's interesting, you can try. So, okay, now once you get used to this, you can start with, this, the up up strums that I did as an intro. And okay, I play it and then I, I mute the strings by letting go of the notes. Okay, and you can do it within the pattern. And that gives you dynamics because that kind of creates a syncopation right before the bass. It's and and bass. Okay, and you can, yeah, you can vibrate. So, okay, and once you get used to this, you can uh, you can just start experimenting. Okay, you can uh, you can just create dramatic moments. Okay in between the chords. Because when you play this and you change the chord, suddenly you give the chords, you give the bass notes, you give them proper respect. Okay, so. So this is a really cool exercise to try um, with injecting dynamics. Now, if we're talking Green Day, um, one of my favorite Green Day songs is When I Come Around because of its unique rhythm pattern. Okay, it's got a unique rhythm pattern. It's... And then, yeah, you have that bass line. So we can play it as an acoustic song as well. We can we can play this as a line. Okay? Inside our rhythm pattern. So Okay? So how do we turn this? Okay? Into an acoustic rhythm pattern. How did I do it? I just imagined the drums. That's all I'm doing. I'm hearing the drums in my head. I pretend that I'm the drum player. And when you play acoustic guitar, when you play rhythm acoustic guitar, you are the drum player because this is a percussive sound. So you're actually responsible for the beat. Okay, so once you get used to thinking like that, uh, realizing that you're not only the guitar player, but you're also kind of the percussionist here, then you start assuming the role. So the picking pattern is down, up, down, okay? Okay, but uh, you need to create an intro kind of feel. Okay, so I mute it, okay, when I start. And then I start on the up strum, I play the chord, and then, and then it's down, down, and then the whole chord. It's bass, bass chord. So, okay, bass, bass chord. I create anticipation for the chord to follow. So, and then it's the same idea with the rest of the chord. I'm uh, sorry. Okay, so. Okay, now because it's a rhythm pattern, because it's a, a, an acoustic rhythm pattern, you can play D and you can play ta 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 tam tam instead of ta ta tam tam tam. So you can do, okay, you can play down up down up down down. Um, but remember, the interplay between bass and chord is what makes it interesting. So, okay, I'm doing, okay, I'm playing the chord. Okay, I. Play while I make the transition. So, 
So I have an open string set. And then I play bass, chord, bass, chord. Okay? So. So the open strings provide transition. So don't be afraid of open strings, especially not in G, because you have the open strings most of the time anyway. So, and then you have E minor, so it's the same thing. Okay, and again, bass chord, so. And then it's, okay, um, but you can play the E bass first. Okay, because you have E inside the C chord. So you can play E and then, the C chord. So and then you can you can play the chord and just have 1310 one, inside the C chord. Doesn't matter if you if you barely hear it as long as it's there. So So that's my take on injecting dynamics into your rhythm playing. It's an interplay between the bass and the chord and thinking like a drummer, because you are. You are a percussionist when you play the acoustic guitar. Because the hits, the, the pick hits, the plectrum hits are um, pretty much drumming on the strings. So thank you very much for watching. Go play your guitar and I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. <laughs> Thank you.